Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a targeted individual. Um, I went to the emergency room last night and the doctor gave me a prescription and I filled for albuterol inhaler pump, you know, to smooth out the bronchial dilate to help you breathe. And I brought, I got, I filled it, I filled the prescription, I got the thing, I brought it here to the locker, I took it out of the package, I looked at it, I primed it by going psh, 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 counted 200 sprays, I read the whole paperwork, everything, I threw the box away, I got up this morning, I put it in my pocket to walk out and go get a cup of tea, and I haven't thought about it till now, like four hours later, and it's just gone. It's gone. I have no idea where it is. It's not in any of my pockets. It's not in any of my bags. It's not in any of my... I lost it. I lost it. So, I must assume that either A, the medicine was not good for me, and God is trying to help by sending some whatever to make it disappear or the medicine is good for me and somehow losing it is going to make me worse sick uh, this is the age of cognitive dissonance for targeted individuals and everyone else by telling you something is good and then telling you something is not good and you're left to decide for yourself so what do you do? You either A, decide that it's good, B, decide that it's not good, or C, make up a story of your own, or D, deny the whole thing ever existed. No, well, I know the pump existed, so I guess I lost it. What that means, I'm supposed to get more, or I'm not supposed to use this stuff, I don't know. My fear was that if you use it, you'll get, like, addicted to it. You know, your body will go, oh, yeah, here's this thing. Now I don't need to do this anymore. And, uh, and then you get stuck using these things forever. I don't know. I never tried it. I don't know what to think. Still coughing up all kinds of yellow goo. Uh, Petra is now sick, too, she said. Uh, they're zapping me with the high frequency. I got the headache horrible headache and I don't know if it's the gasoline fumes or the propane fumes or the the high frequency zapping that they're doing even though I live inside of a metal box I live inside of a metal box well, I don't live here but I'm currently working inside of a metal box and the remote high frequency neural no touch torture whatever it is reaches me here just fine anyway that's my story and I'm sticking to it um, God bless you all I pray for everybody who's targeted and suffering I know there's billions of suffering people I pray for them all and I'm grateful to have a place to talk even if I'm the only one who hears it um, thank you very much.